one of the greatest vyakarana shastra and veda pandit of andhra pradesh india was brahma shri dandi vatsa vishwanatha shastri from raja mundri he was invited by few german scientists who worked for hitler to decode sanskrit hymns in yajurveda and atharva veda during 1938 this was done to design war missiles before second world war he was a child prodigy who studied tarka logic vyakarana grammar mimamsa dilemma and mastered the entire yajurveda karma kanda bhaga and atharva veda mantra prayoga bhaga application part Ancient sciences cannot be interpreted as modern sciences. Yajurveda alone is perceived as four phases in four forms. They are to be understood in so many ways and a person has to have a passion for these four sciences. His disciples like Venkateshwara Shastri and P. Sita Ramanjani Yulu tell stories about Dandi Bhatla Vishwanath Shastri who is known as a scholar of grammar in Raja Mundri. When Indira Gandhi was prime minister ambassador to West Germany was shown a photo of an Indian in his office and asked to identify him when he failed german authorities called dandi vatla a cosmologist and told him the reason for his great reputation in germany when first world war temporarily subsided kaiser government collapsed in germany hitler was one of the thousands of german soldiers captured in that war could not bear that insult he believed that germans are the greatest of all races in the world he founded the nazi party to prove their superiority anyway the germans were excited with patriotism many reforms were initiated to make germany scientifically and industrially superior also began the search for new lethal weapons germans were already interested in the study of sanskrit language he realized that there were mysteries of lethal weapons in indian vedic literature hitler took stern measures to secure the germans from that oratory which was first seen in print he continued to search for those who would unravel the mysteries of the making of weapons at the same time hitler's representatives learned of dandi vatla's cosmology and began a search for him vishwanath shastri was always thinking of scientific matters and not caring about worldly matters he used to discuss them with those who came to his house one day he had to go to a village near kottavalasa near visakhapatnam hitler's representative met him on the way and first took him to visakhapatnam and then to calcutta hitler's representative in calcutta tried their best to persuade him he was eventually taken to germany the time when dandi vatla reached germany was the moment when the field was being prepared for the second world war in 1938 he was summoned to germany to help in decoding the rahasya mantras which were used for missile technology in world war by germans germans had no way of storing bombs without exploding dandi vatla suggested a solution to that problem from the yajurveda he has been revered ever since he shared his scientific erudition with the germans he helped germans to become one of the most developed countries in the world dandi vatla vishwanath shastri's lone written work left was puttoji dikshit's grammar work siddhanta kamudi nagesh patu's short commentary on this is available at the oriental library hyderabad He could not return to India after Second World War. For many years, Vishwanath Shastri's wife received rupees three hundred salary from German government. After some time, she received rupees ninety until she was alive. It was assumed that Shastri ji passed away at that time in Germany, and his pension was sent to his wife in India. After Dandi Bhatla's departure from the country, India and his state Andhra forgot him. However, the Germans still retain him as their own, as a noble man. It is interesting to note that the Nazis developed the first practical pulse jet engines for their V8 rocket buzz bomb. Hitler and his Nazi staff were exceptionally interested in ancient India and Tibet. They sent expeditions to both these places yearly, starting in the 1930s. In order to 
whether esoteric evidence that they did so and perhaps it was from these people that the Nazis gained some of their scientific information. Only a few years ago, the Chinese discovered some Sanskrit documents in Magba, Tibet and sent them to the University of Chandigarh to be translated. These documents contain directions for building interstellar spaceships. Their method of propulsion was anti-gravitational and was based upon a system analogous to that of Lagima, the unknown power of the ego existing in our physiological makeup, a centrifugal force strong enough to counteract all gravitational pull. According to Ashtasiddhis, it is this Lagima which enables a person to levitate. One such Siddhi or power called Anima, which was to make a living being shorter, was shown in Hollywood movie Ant-Man. These machines, which were called astras, were used by ancient Indians to send a detachment of men onto any planet thousands of years ago. The manuscripts were also said to reveal the secret of anima, which is the cap of invisibility, and gaima, which means how to become as heavy as a mountain of lead. This method was used by Hanuman in Ramayana to cross ocean and reach Lanka. Naturally, Indian scientists did not take the texts very seriously, but then became more positive about the value of them when the Chinese announced that they were including certain parts of the data for study in their space program. This was one of the first instances of a government admitting to be researching anti-gravity.